Welcome to our presentation on Chemical Hazards, GHS and the SDS. The Globally Harmonized System or GHS makes identifying hazardous materials relatively simple. Using nine standardized symbols on all labels and documents, GHS provides a worldwide approach to classifying chemicals. The GHS symbol that should be used is indicated in Section 2 of the manufacturer's SDS. The SDS is comprised of 16 sections, covering information on hazards, first aid, handling and storage, PPE, reactivity, toxicology, and disposal, to name just a few. Before using any substance, the manufacturer's SDS must be obtained, thoroughly reviewed, and any hazards mitigated. Anyone exposed to a substance has the right to know and access the SDS and other relevant information. Flammable signifies substances that cause fire, burns or explosions, including self-heating and self-igniting substances. The critical hazards are naked flames, sparks, sources of heat, electrostatic or electric charges, oxidizing agents, poor ventilation, and any other conditions listed in Section 10 of the SDS. Other considerations are as listed in Section 7 and 8 of the SDS. The corrosive symbol is found on strong acids and alkalis that cause severe skin, eye and respiratory tract injuries, as well as metal corrosion. The critical vulnerabilities are soft tissues, inhalation, injection, and ingestion. Other considerations are listed in Sections 7 and 8 of the SDS. The familiar skull and crossbones signify serious illness or death if swallowed, inhaled, injected, or absorbed by soft tissue. The critical vulnerabilities are soft tissues, inhalation, injection, and ingestion. Other considerations are listed in Sections 7 and 8 of the SDS. The chronic health hazard label is used on substances that cause very serious illnesses as listed in Section 2 and 11 of the SDS such as cancer, organ damage, reproductive damage, harm to an unborn child, and respiratory sensitization. The critical vulnerabilities are soft tissues, inhalation, injection, and ingestion. Other considerations are listed in sections 7 and 8. All users should seek specialist advice and undertake hazard mitigation training. The harmful label indicates low-level toxicity, such as soft tissue and respiratory irritation and dermal sensitization. The critical vulnerabilities are soft tissues, inhalation, injection, and ingestion. Other considerations are listed in sections 7 and 8 of the SDS. The gas cylinder silhouette signifies pressurized gas. The critical hazards are fire, explosion, poisoning, asphyxiation, injection injuries, cold burns and cylinder mishandling. Other considerations are that users should seek specialist advice and undertake specific hazard mitigation training. An explosive label indicates substances that react very violently, releasing large amounts of energy and high-velocity projectiles. The critical hazards are heat, friction, impact and conditions listed in Section 10 of the SDS. Other considerations are that users seek specialist advice and undertake hazard mitigation training. The oxidation symbol is used on substances that can cause or intensify fire. The critical hazards are flammable and combustible materials and conditions listed in Section 10. Other considerations are listed in Sections 7 and 8 of the SDS. The final GHS label signifies an environmental contaminant. The critical consideration is never disposing of waste into drains. Refer to supervisory staff for safe disposal procedures. For more information, refer to sections 12 and 13 of the SDS. As you can see, GHS is a comprehensive system for labeling hazardous substances. Nevertheless, the system is heavily reliant on everyone ensuring all containers are adequately and correctly labeled. This is particularly important when substances are transferred into secondary containers. Be sure any secondary container labels list, the product name, hazards, and emergency contact information and have the GHS pictograms as it appears in the SDS. Finally, 
be a good member of your team and share information about any hazards. If you have any remaining questions or concerns, see your supervisor.